All right, so here we go. This is fog, and what we are going to be doing is we're going to be imaging MacBooks using fog. Yes, that's right. I said Macs are going to be imaged through fog, and not only are we going to image them through fog, we are going to multicast image them through fog. First off, let me just say, I feel quite privileged to be able to work with a guy who, who works here, who basically saw fog back when it was uh, 0 0.32, saw what it was, and imagined what it could be, and he's, he's really good at programming and stuff, so he pretty much took it upon himself to uh, you know, look at the fog source code and start adding to it and build it up to what it is or what it is about to be in the near future. Right now, like I said, I feel privileged to work with them because we've got the inside scoop of uh, what fog is right now. And I am going to show you how, how this uh, works and what a future release of fog may be able to do for you. So, with that all said, let's get right into it. As you can see, I created a, uh, a group here called Booyah. We've got our 2015 student MacBook image on here. And basically all I have to do is boot up these Macs, which I already did. Um, you can see they're all at this screen already waiting for me to uh, you know, hit, hit go, hit enter. In order to do this, we had to create these disks right here, these iPixie disks, because you know the, the Macs only boot off of, uh, they, they do the net boot, and you, you would usually use Deploy Studio for that. Well, we want Fog to do everything, so now Fog does. <laughs> We, we, we built these disks, it boots off of that, and using our new image, once these all get re-imaged, we won't need those disks anymore because we'll be able to just boot off of the hard drives when we want to uh, re-image the computer. If we get a brand new hard drive that's empty, then we would revert back to the disks. So enough of that, let's, let's get this going because I want to show you what the uh, multicasting looks like. So I'm just going to hit enter on these 10 machines. When I get to the last one, I'll just stick with it so you can see see what it's doing. So there's nine and ten. There we go. So I'll zoom up, zoom close to this screen. Now it'll say some things like no controller found, blah blah blah, but just watch it. It it works. It's it's really cool. And if I look over to some of the other screens here, they're pretty much on, all on the same thing. They're getting ready to start the network. And in a few seconds, we will be multicasting. Here, here we go. Check that out. <laughs> Apple, Mac OS. <laughs> Bet you never thought you'd see that through fog. <laughs> and here we go. Watch how fast this is. It's crazy. So I won't record the whole thing um, because you know I'll, it'll turn out to be like a 10 or 15 minute video. But you can see we're getting at like three gigs. <laughs> it, it fluctuates, goes up, goes down. So what I'll do is I'll put it on pause and I'll unpause it right before it's about to uh, finish up. But yeah, it looks like about nine minutes, nine or ten minutes. So I'll put it on pause and I'll come right back. In case anyone was wondering, here's what a uh, true multicast switch looks like when it's actually multicasting. All those lights, they light up exactly the same way and go out exactly the same way. That's what multicasting on a switch looks like. And as you can see, it's been just under three minutes. We're traveling at about two and a half gigs. And you can see they go at the same exact rate. When you're truly multicasting, it's exactly the same on all the screens. And just a quick screenshot of it. There we go. That's what it looks like, letting you know that it's in progress. Got 10 clients, 10 MacBooks. <laughs> Boo yeah. Still going strong with just over five minutes to go. Been running for just over eight minutes now. Not too bad. All right. So we are now three quarters of the way there. Fog's been running for about 10 minutes. We've been imaging these computers in a multicast session. 
We got less than three minutes to go and we'll be done. Again, this is our switch. This is what it should look like when you are really multicasting. Alright, let's uh, sit here and watch it finish up. As you can see, it's been going for just over 13 minutes here. And when you multicast, it really doesn't matter if you're doing 10, 20, or 30 computers. They all will run about the same rate. So I could have had a complete cart of 30 computers here, and it still would have taken me anywhere between you know, 13 to 15 minutes. So here we go. And then now it's just finishing up the uh, special partitions that we have. So, so next time we don't have to use the discs anymore. We won't have to use the uh, iPixie CDs. We can just boot directly from the hard drive. So here we go. <laughs> you can hear them. <laughs> They're all rebooting. Doing, doing, doing. <laughs> and the moment of truth right here. Of course, I know it's going to work because I've seen it before. But let's just uh, check this one out. It's got, our, it's got our custom image on it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That is that is fog multicasting max now. So now we can use one machine, one server to do it all. Our PCs, our Macs. We 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 don't need to set up a deploy studio server anymore for this one and then a fog server for that one. We can just do it all from fog now.